Hi everybody, June here from Red Daisy Crafts. I hope you're doing well today and uh, I hope everything is set up properly. So if you are watching, please let me know. And in the meantime, I'm going to just check it out really fast and make sure that it's all set up um, and that we are streaming and good looks like it is so uh thanks so much for being here today i'm looking forward to spending this time with you and i hope you're having a good week um i am just about ready uh for us to get this party started so let's uh, talk about what we have this week. So I'm excited uh, to come to you today with more projects uh, utilizing the uh, Paper Pumpkin June uh, Welcome In Kit. Uh, so we'll have some alternate projects for you today on that. Um, many of you should start to receive your Fun in the Sun a July paper pumpkin. I haven't gotten mine yet, but I do, I do see that it has shipped. So maybe next Sunday we'll be able to start playing around with this. So I'm looking forward to that. Then uh, the August uh, paper pumpkin is um, looks really beautiful. Show You Care is the name of the August paper pumpkin. Looks like a lot of watercolor flowers. Um, this kit includes eight cards. The ink spot is going to be Pretty Peacock. Um, that's one of our new uh, returning colors this year. Hi, thanks for joining. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. Um, you know, if you're out there and uh, you're joining, please uh, drop me a note. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm looking forward to having you all here today. Um, so the Show You Care Paper Pumpkin, it's got eight cards in it. And uh, there's some linen thread and uh, there's going to be vellum pieces. But there's a bonus. Um, a bonus and a free distinctive stamp set that's going to be in that kit as well. So the colors uh, that are going to be in that kit are Bubble Bath, Crushed Curry, Garden Green, Melon Mambo, Misty Moonlight, Orchid Oasis, Pretty Peacock, and Tahitian Tide. All those sound really beautiful. And um, the deadline is August 10th to subscribe to that. So, um, so be sure and get your August subscription ready. So I also wanted to let you know, um, this will be mostly on my business page, but, uh, from July 16th today through July 31st, I'm going to do a mystery host party. So anybody that purchases, um, makes a purchase using that host code will get entered into the pot to get um to possibly win it being the mystery host uh for that time period so uh so this is the host code it's e p s s y t39 and i will put a link in my facebook page red daisy crafts for anybody that i would like to um make a purchase and also uh be possibly the winner of being the mystery host uh for that time period so again it's july 16th through july 31st so we've got a lot of fun today um planned and so we will get going with that um, I, I like to always kind of go back over what we did last week. So this is one of the cards we made last week. Uh, so beautiful. And then these two uh, cards, uh, one is one we made, but one was a sample. And so they look really beautiful. And uh, of course, we have this from a few weeks ago. 
And I think this was from the first night with the kit. And these are the cards that the kit was designed for. So um, this has been a really fun kit. I love all the coordinating pieces um, that are available in this kit. And so we are going to get started tonight with uh, the Navy, Knight of Navy card base. And I have the element from the kit that is the dotted frame. And uh, I've also pulled out uh, the blue flag or banner piece. Um, and then I pre-stamped and uh, have ready some of the pots. So we are going to put these onto the card. Now I am going to, uh, I'm going to pop uh, up this um, this dotted frame using the um, using the dimensionals that came in the kit. So I have these um, the shorter ones. Well, I may not need to cut these, but uh, the shorter ones I have used up and. So I think these will work if I just do this here and then maybe trim one of these down. Should be good. Hello, everybody. How are you this evening? Are you uh, doing anything fun this weekend? Uh, it's been a pretty quiet weekend around here. Um, I did have a fun day yesterday. I went and got my nails done and uh, spent some time with my crafting friends locally here. And so that was a lot of fun for me. Um, all right. So let's see if we can get this lined up. Try to not have it sticking to me. There we go. Uh, that looks good. So I've got that lined up there, you can see. And um, so what have y'all been doing? So let me know. Uh, I would love to hear. So I'm going to put uh, three of these down with my multi-purpose liquid glue. Um, and then two of them we're going to put on with dimensionals. So I'm kind of just going to be staggering these um, across this background. And um, I just, I like all these colors together. Uh, I thought it would be nice to uh, have it on the dark background. Um, so just changing the... Um, height of each of these and um, playing around with that. So uh, what I like about this design is I am pretty much using everything that came in the kit um, for this card. And um, so it's duplicatable for each of you. Now I'm going to cut off a little edge here on each side of my piece of dimensionals to just stick on the back of here. And I'll, let me make sure I got the right side. Yeah, I had a little bobo on this one. I had to, I had to stamp it again. Uh, thank goodness for other for being able to flip something over, right? Um, okay, so this is going to go here like that, and then this one will go over here. So the placement of that. So I'm going to fold this down. Get my bone folder here and just give it a good crease. And so there we have this layout. I just love all the bright colors um, with the dark background and the little frame. 
So I've been trying to decide where this is going to go. Um, and I'm not exactly sure where I want it to go. Um, I, frustrates me when I can't make a decision trying to decide if I like that or not. I, uh, I really don't want it going over the pots, so I'm thinking I might just put it poked in there, a little snip off, and put it down inside the frame. Like that. With a little sentiment. So, hi everybody. Uh, say hi in the comments. Let me know where you're from. And uh, thanks for joining tonight. We're just kicking off with uh, one of the designs for the alternates tonight. We're basically on this one, we're using all the elements from the card kit uh, this month. And uh, so let's put a little sentiment on here. And so let's use our friend, friend sentiment. And we're going to put it off on this end. That looks good. Looks really good. And so then we're going to put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of here. And we're just going to put this right down behind the frame so it's not showing and that it's straight like that. And then we're going to take some of these lovely dots that came in the kit and we're going to put a couple on here there we go and there we have it I really like this um, I'd love to hear from you guys if you like it um, I just really love the colors of the pots. Uh, they're just really fun. Um, this would be just a great card for any occasion. And um, you can uh, send it with a little housewarming gift or just to say hi and check in on how your friends are doing. Um, I just think it's a really sweet little card. So we have a little extra piece there, but uh, I like this a lot. So, all right, we will go on to our next one. Now I did have a sample of this next card that we're gonna create. Um, and this is, again, pretty much all the pieces from the card kit. I did do a couple of other things here. I used some different embellishments uh, from our catalog. Uh, let's see if I can grab them here. They are the adhesive back solid gems. So I'm using this from our catalog um, on here. And then I have some of the linen thread. So that I've been using, but we're going to do it with the, again, with the Navy background. I, I feel like that's a little bit of a theme today. And uh, so I'm excited to make this card with you um, today. So I went ahead and kind of pre-cut. So here's our Navy card base. Um, and I went ahead and cut this. So just for your own information, uh, this part of the die cut right here this corner this is basically seven eighths of an inch okay so just to give you an idea of what size i cut off of here so it basically just came apart and we will put one part down here 
and one part over here. Now I will line this up uh, pretty good on this corner so they are lining up together. And then we will um, do some stamping in the meantime before we start to put our card together. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, fold this and get our little um, burnish the edge there for a nice crisp fold. And I'm just going to set it aside for the moment. So what we have is we're going to put a flower pot on here. And um, I uh, want a little bit of scrap paper for that. Um, I'll just use this piece right here uh, to do some stamping. And so we're going to put a flower pot right here. And um, so I have that right here. So that's going to go basically on there like that. And then we're going to stamp some flowers on this piece over here. And here's our flowers. And then we're going to need um, the one little label sentiment. Um, did I have it out already or do I need to find one? I think I need to get one from over here. There we go. So we'll have that also to stamp. So, and uh, you know what? Let me get myself out of here uh, so that you can see a little bit better. There we go. There we go. So hi, everybody. Thanks for joining. Uh, it's good to have you here this evening. All right, so we're going to do this. Um, I'm trying to decide. I, I think I'm going to use the boho blue on this um, part. Uh, and I think we'll start here. So, all right. There we go. And we're just going to stamp down just uh, where those, the stems of the flowers come down. All right. And I'm just pressing firmly, getting a good, good coverage. So there we have it. So that's how that will look um, when we put it onto the card base. So it'll be basically like that. So, and then we're going to do some flowers over here. And um, I think I'm going to stamp off on these um, so that they're a little lighter on a couple of them. And then we'll do darker ones. Okay, so we have uh, the boho blue flowers that we did here, and that will go on the side over here like that. So we're just getting our card laid out for, for it uh, to be similar to this one here. All right. Now, um, I have pulled out the happy birthday stamp from a previous month's paper pumpkin uh, just because um, I felt like I needed some birthday cards out of this and so that's what I am doing here. Now this just barely fits on this little label um, so I'm lining it up so that I can uh, get my happy birthday on there 
and it's a little bit at an angle. So I will show you how I have that here so you can see it. And uh, that looks really good. So I think those are the stamp items. Um, oh, you know what? I did do, and I think we'll do that on here too. Um, I did put some of those little squiggly lines on uh, the flowers. So let me just pull this back out. And I think I'm going to use the Calypso Coral stamped off and just have some of these going throughout here. So I'm just, you know, adding a bit of color to this um, little side piece that we have. And I'm stamping off uh, with the Calypso Coral just because um, I don't want it to be really sharp. Um, the color and uh, I think that that will give it plenty of additional color uh, for what we're doing so just a little bit of squiggly lines um, in here just so you can see right now it doesn't look like much but I think it really came out well when I did it before with this one so so fingers crossed that will all work out as well too. So thanks for uh, being here today and joining me for this. Um, so let me move my little scrap piece out of the way. And I'm going to get a little bit of twine here. So I... Um, I think when I made this the first time I had quite a lot of it and I don't need that much so I am going to um, we're gonna do our twine a little bit differently this time so uh, just cut off a little bit of this to put in the middle so I'm going to wrap this uh, kind of like a faux bow. Um, so we're basically going to just have um, this loop come over like that and then come back like that. So, and then we'll just cut off this little extra. So that's how our bow will look right there. So I'm going to leave it just like that for now. So we are going to glue down our um, pieces now to the card base. And so the first one I'm putting down is the, um, the part with the flowers and the pot that we just stamped so just lining this up making sure i've got it flush with the card bottom so there we have that piece okay and then this is going to go right up here like so and we're going to line it up so let's get that all set here and um, just so we are lining it up, I want it to be to match up with those corners very nicely. So I'm just making sure it's flush with the card. Got a little glue there. I'm just pressing firmly, making sure we have got our card piece so there we have this and um there is that's pushed down really nicely so now we can put our uh, sentiment on here and um just putting it kind of centered actually i think i'm going to do it a little bit diagonal this time there we go so there we have that 
All right, so at this point, this is when I was using some of these other gems. And um, I liked how the yellow, this lemon lolly, really popped things up on the card. So we're going to use some of these over here and uh, bring in a few of these. Well, probably more than a few. I like them and I like how it looks here for uh, this card to have these extra elements. Um, and so we'll just put one up here and we'll put another one down here. So there we have it. There's our card base. So we have little yellow centers on our flowers over here. And that we have the Calypso coral, you know, floating throughout. And um, so there we have our second card. So um, this is just kind of a remake of this one that I have made originally to give it a to give it a go so i hope you like this alternate as well so that is our second alternate our third alternate is uh we're moving a little bit to where we're gonna bring in a couple more elements so i have another navy blue card base and i'm going to burnish this edge um and uh, this card base got a little bit folded. And so we're just straightening it out. Um, but I pulled some of the DSP. Look at this beautiful DSP with these birds. Aren't they just so cute? And um, so we're going to put that down centered. And it's going all the way across. So this is... Um, this is four inches by five and a half. Okay. So we're going to put this down and then I have a couple of our hexagon, um, the, the countryside corner dies, uh, that we're going to put down on here. And then I have one of the dies from the kit, uh, with that flower pot. And we're going to put the little tag on here. Hello friend. And, I'm going to put a little bit of um, linen thread around here also just to be an added element. And then I think we will use the blue. Uh, well, no, we won't. I don't like that. We'll use more of these, these dots to put on. So, um, so yeah, so that's what this is going to look like. So let's get that going. And uh, so I'm just putting my DSP down. Again, this is four inches by five and a half. So it's going the full, full uh, height of the card. And I'm just centering it on here. I'm making sure I've got it flush with the card base. And um, so that's all nice and smoothed out. And then we have our two pieces here. So I'm going to wrap the uh, linen thread around the, the um, balmy blue card piece. And we're going to have a little tie off to the side. So just get a little extra here. And uh, make a little bow on this side. That'll... Just give it a little extra to this little card. So, and uh, we will have this right here. Then this is going to get glued down. So I'm going to just, I'm just separating my little linen thread pieces that I overlapped. You know, just giving it a little bit more um, texture. So. We are going to glue this one down to the card base. 
and then the rest of them will get popped with dimensionals. So just trying to center this the best I can. And uh, let's see. There we go. Press that down. So we have that. And then this will get popped up right here. All right. And we have, I'm just going to use lots of this edge here. So, so we'll use this to put this down. And um, I'll just use our little extra pieces here that will give us the better coverage for this. So that's going to go right here like that. And uh, These are, a lot of these are the pieces we cut last week whenever we were preparing for that card last week. So um, I had them left over. I wanted to make sure I used them. So here we go. All right. So this is going to also, I'm going to put this on, I'm going to glue this pot down, but then we'll put the sentiment on with uh, some dimensionals as well. So we have the flower pot that we are putting on and it's going to go right here, pretty much a little bit off center, but for the most part centered. And then this will get a little bit of a uh, dimensional on it. And this is a pre-printed, um, sentiment that came in the kit that says hello friend so we're just putting that on here uh right there so you have that like that and then we'll add some of these dots from here so we'll put one or two right here and then we'll put it one more down here. And there you have it. Very simple card. And, you know, we added a little bit of cardstock and DSP, but everything else is from the kit. So, um, so there you have that. And I have one more uh, card that I thought I would do today to show you. And this is another piece of DSP uh, from the Countryside Inn uh, collection. And I have a, a basic white card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half. And this piece is covering the full, full space. So this piece itself is four and a quarter by five and a half. So we'll put that down first. Um, onto the white card stock and um, just get a get this flush on here. Like that. And then I have I have cut a few circles here. But a couple of them got kind of cut off. So I have, um, this is from the card base uh, from the kit. This is also from the card base in the kit. And this is from the envelope. So we're just using a white card base and we have some DSP that we put on it um, to work with this. So we have this uh, floral uh, kind of print and then we have this uh, lovely orange, um, the Calypso Coral print. Now I'm just widening these 
Now I had one other piece here I'm looking for. I don't see it. So let me grab it from over here um, because I know I have one handy. So um, I want this to come down the center of here uh, just like that. Okay. And so we're going to glue that down as well. So I just have this piece here to glue down. We're going to put it right in the center of this card. Make sure that I have that flush. Okay. So just like that. All right. And then we are putting all of these on. Um, now I'm going to turn them a little bit and see how this works. But this one's going to go right here. And I think, I think, I think that's going to go there. I don't know. Maybe this piece. I think I like this better. Let's put a happy birthday on here. And uh, then we can put that down. So again, I'm going to use the boho blue. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to use the balmy blue for this. So I need to clean my birthday, my happy birthday stamp. So how are y'all doing? Are you enjoying the summer? Uh, what do you have going on this year? Uh, this summer, have y'all been on vacation? Um, it has been so hot here in Texas. Um, I think all of us would love to go anywhere where it isn't so hot. Um, again, this label is just probably a little short for this uh, sentiment, but I'm getting used to having it put at a diagonal. So, and I like that. Um, so that works out fine. All right. So now we have that. All right. I'm going to put this one down first and uh, we're just going to put it right there and then this one. Today is National uh, ice cream day. Are y'all going out for ice cream today? I've been thinking about it all day. Um, the last thing I probably need is some ice cream, uh, but I can't, I keep thinking about it and how much I would like it. <laughs> so I haven't quite told my husband yet, but we might be going out for ice cream later. Um, I think that might be fun. We haven't done that in a long time. So uh, every now and then you got to do it. All right. So I think I'll put this down here like that. And we will put that on dimensionals. This one just fits perfectly right on there. And uh, so we will put that right here off to the side and then I'll we'll just add a couple of these Knight of Navy dots. Um, we'll put one down here then we'll put one up here and yeah we'll put it right here. All right, so there you have it. That's just a really simple card. I use the circle punch. Um, this is the circle punch I use. It's two and three eighths um, to do the circles. And again, just a white card base with a little DSP 
All the other pieces came uh, from the kit except this white uh, little uh, label here that is from the Country Inn. Um, Country and corn, countryside corners. Oh my goodness. Country, country, country. So I think this is really cute. Uh, I love how the balmy blue just kind of picks up the other balmy blue colors. And so just a lot of fun. Oh, I know what else I was going to do here. I was going to put a little bow, just a little bow on that pot. Uh, I feel like it's, um, it's a little lost there. Uh, so let's do a little tiny bow for that. And where's my glue dots? So much easier for me to just grab these from the roll than using what comes in the kit. I don't know about you all, but that's my preference. And then we'll just cut this off. There. There we have it. So just a little bow. This one little bow does not want to cooperate. There we go. There we go really cute so and i just um you know really enjoyed this kit i hope you all have too i know y'all are very quiet today but that's okay and um i appreciate you joining and and following along and so we have put together uh four cards today four alternate cards and so we have these two and then uh, we made this one uh, that was kind of a remake of this one and then this really fun one with the pots so there you have it um so many lovely ideas uh, for you to recreate and um i hope that you will all um Join me next week when we have the new uh, July paper pumpkin. I'm excited to see that and play with some beachy stuff. It looks like a lot of fun, bright colors. So thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining and have a great week. Bye-bye.